focused on this, Ange. That's right. Police confirm it was a neighbor who fired that shot, and most of the neighbors I talked to on the street said they're concerned about car break-ins. Many of them also have surveillance cameras, but no one expected this. This video was taken by a neighbor. You can see a man walking along the sidewalk and another man not far behind in a hurry. Another neighbor snapped these photos. You see someone pulling on car doors, seeing if they were unlocked. Residents believe it's the same group of men who tried to break into several homes here along Arlington Road in West Palm Beach early Tuesday morning. They also believe one of them was shot and killed by one of their neighbors just after midnight. I knew something was wrong. Police confirm a homeowner caught one of the would-be robbers in the act. He confronted him, shots were fired, and the suspect killed. They say they're searching for a second suspect who ran off. Sad event, but I'm not surprised. Um, and the only reason I'm not surprised is because on this street, at least in particular, I can only speak for myself, there's been a lot of break-ins with cars lately. Randy Hewlett lives down the street. He says he slept through everything overnight. He says car break-ins have become a problem in this part of town. He even installed an elaborate security system to protect his home. I, it's a shame that it got to this point where someone literally ended up getting shot. Now we talked to the president of the Homeowners Association earlier today. He says the board will be discussing this issue tonight at a meeting at the South Olive Recreation Center at 630. He also says they plan to meet with the mayor later in the week. Now coming up at 6, we'll hear from a local attorney about what this neighbor did. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.